In order to register a new course using the NSP course tools, first navigate to the NSP member page. From here, hover over Instructor Resources and click on Course Tools. Once you're on the Course Tools landing page, find the tab that reads Register a Course. From here, you will want to click on the plus sign in order to register your new course. First, choose the course title. You will only see disciplines for which you are a certified instructor. Next, choose the course begin date from the calendar dropdown. Remember that the course end date must come after the begin date. You may also want to extend the end date past the end of the actual course in order to accommodate late enrollments since individuals need to enroll themselves in courses through the online course schedule. If needed, you can list the actual course end date and any other relevant information in the notes field. Next, you will want to identify the specific location of your course. This is usually the geographic location or the specific mountain where the course is being conducted. Next, you will want to list your IT or instructor trainer from the drop-down menu. This will be populated with ITs that are available within your region. You must select an IT other than yourself when registering a course, as indicated by the quality assurance requirements. The assigned IT must be familiar with the national standards regarding content and evaluation criteria of the program providing the event. If an IT for a specific program event is not available, that program's region administrator or division supervisor may assign an IT from a different program. If the IT is not known at the time the course is registered, follow division guidelines regarding which IT to select. The IT can be edited at a later date prior to course closure. For OEC, OEC Online, and OEC Modified Challenge courses, you will need to select a date on which you would like your exam materials available by. These can be available via email or mail. Please note that exam materials cannot be requested more than two weeks before end of course. Next, you will want to list any assisting instructors for your course. Enter NSP member numbers separated by a comma with no space. Finally, as mentioned earlier, you can add any other information into the notes field. You can also make notes if this course is available to non-NSP members or specifics about location or scheduling. Once you have completed all of the fields, click Save and Close. Once you have registered a course, you'll be directed back to the Course Tools landing page. Under the IOR course list, which is the first tab, you will see a list of courses for which you are listed as the IOR. The course that you just registered will appear here generally at the bottom of the list. The course number may take up to 15 minutes to be generated. Refresh your browser window to make sure that you are seeing the most up-to-date information. If you scroll to the right, depending on the size of your browser window, you will see all of the information that you have filled out. And as that status remains active, you will see the total number of registrants as it fills up. If you have further questions regarding registering a course, please email education at nsp.org.